Hi, please make sure that the sound is turned on for this video presentation as I guide you through. Thank you. So my name is Sean Thomas and I work with Caritas in the Diocese of Brentwood. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Laudato Si and the challenges we have been asked to take on to help our wider community and our planet. From the very first book in the Bible, Genesis, we hear about the importance of our world and the love and care that God put into it. The world is a common home for all creation, a gift from God for all people, animals and plants. As humans, we have a special responsibility to cherish and look after what we have been given, which is why we must live in a way that is sustainable for the whole of God's creation. Everything we make and everything we use comes from the planet. It could be the food we grow or the energy, metals and chemicals we use to make other things. Every time we use something, it is coming from the planet that God gave to us. To live more sustainably means to live so that there is enough for everyone, for every person, animal and plant as well. God provided amazing beauty, not for us to destroy it, but for us to be inspired, to find joy, to live our lives to the full and to share that with our neighbours, no matter who they are, old or young, rich or poor, close or far away. Together, we can make a commitment to live more simply and sustainably. Now, Pope Francis wrote a letter to the world focused on exactly this. His letter was written in honour of St Francis of Assisi, patron saint of the poor and the environment and the letter was titled Laudato Si. In this letter, Pope Francis states, the earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an immense pile of filth. In many parts of the planet, the elderly lament that once beautiful landscapes are now covered with rubbish. We all know the effect that global gases, plastics and destruction are having on climate change and the negative impact we are having on the world. We are being warned and begged to make a difference and to change the way we are living. Pope Francis is saying that it is our faith that is at the heart of it all. When we act to make the planet better, it's because we believe that it is all God's gift to us. Pope Francis says, listen, listen to the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. Bishop Allen puts it like this. It is integral to our faith that we cherish God's creation and strive for justice for the world's poorest people, each one made in God's image and likeness. So let's stop and pray about all of this. Make sure you are seated comfortably. You can close your eyes or bow your head, whatever you're most comfortable with. Let us acknowledge that together, we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, as Father, you breathed life into creation and made human beings, every single person in your image and likeness, and gifted us a common home to cherish. You colour in the flowers, are attentive to the details in every feather and leaf and you know us so intimately that you count each hair on our head. As sun, you climbed mountains to open our hearts to you and shared parables about mustard seeds, figs, vines and fish. You taught on lakes and cooked for the disciples on a beach. You ate a final and eternal meal of bread and wine. And when you rose from the dead, you were mistaken for the gardener. Now you travel in the same boat as us in the midst of the storm. As spirit, you hovered over the waters at the beginning of time. You are the divine breath within us. You swooped like a dove as the river Jordan rippled and splashed with the grace of baptism. You infuse us with the gifts of awe and wonder, courage and understanding. 
you sustain us with the fruits of love, joy and peace. Bishop Allen says that cherishing God's creation and striving for justice for the world's poorest people is integral to our faith. What he means is, without doing these things, our faith is missing something vital. It's like an unfinished puzzle, a boat with a hole, a bike with no wheels, or a Nando's with no chicken. St. James puts it really strongly. He says, faith without actions is dead. Faith without actions is dead. Now is the time for each of us to begin answering this invitation and to take that action that St. James is talking about. In a world where we can often feel like our voice is unheard, it's important that we acknowledge the good already happening. Students like you throughout Essex and East London are already fundraising, praying, collecting for food banks, campaigning for change and making personal changes to help God's creation. Our pledges and commitments that we make in light of Laudato Si and for our common home can really bring about positive change. Bishop Allen is asking you to make three pledges, to make them today but to keep them for a whole year. These are actions that will help heal the damage of climate change and help the poorest people in the world. So what can you pledge to do? What can you commit to alone with a friend, as a class, as a year group, or even as a school? Let's start from the beginning. We're going to pick our first pledge, something that you could do alone. Maybe it's turning off the lights when you leave a room, making sure your TV or your computer or your Xbox or your PlayStation are off rather than on standby. You could turn off the tap when brushing your teeth. Maybe allocating two days a week where you don't eat meat or spending time with God in prayer. You may have your own ideas and that's absolutely fine. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to pick your first pledge. And if you have a pen and paper, now would be a great time to write this down. So your time starts now. Okay, great. So we're going to move on to our second pledge. This is something that you may need someone else to help you with. Maybe you could walk or cycle to school instead of being driven. Maybe you could learn how to grow vegetables and plant them at home or at school. You could write a letter to your MP, research about a country in the world that is already suffering because of climate change. You could work with charities like CAFOD. Again, you may have some more ideas of your own, which is great. And this time, I think we might take a little bit longer, two or three minutes. So whoever's in charge, if they want to pause the presentation here and allocate you that time, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Great. So now we can move on to our third and final pledge. And this could be something that could take your whole class, your whole year group, or even the whole school. Think about things like applying for the CAFOD Live Simply School Award, 
collecting donations for your local food bank, rewilding part of the school grounds, making sure that people are recycling, checking suppliers of your school uniform or PE kit, creating an allotment, or thinking about how your school is powered. Now, this one will take a bit more conversation, so you'll need a bit more time, maybe five to 10 minutes, or perhaps you could even discuss this later on in the week outside of this presentation. But if you're doing it now, I'll again ask that whoever's in charge just pauses the presentation here and I'll join you again in a moment. So your final challenge is to act upon these pledges and commitments and to help hold each other accountable. Encourage one another and be a support in your actions. We look forward to discovering the many varied and creative ways in which each of you respond to this invitation. As we work together from all parts of the diocese to care for our common home. So let's just finish with the final lines of our prayer. Teach us afresh to care for our common home in the way that you care for us. Teach us afresh to see a trace of the Trinity in every part of creation. Teach us afresh the precious truth that each person we meet is a sister or brother of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For more information, resources and ideas, you can go to the Diocesan website and then click on the Laudato Si section. Also, you can ask the teachers in your school for the link on the screen. Thank you so much for listening today and for the commitments that you've made. And I hope to see you all soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.